Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about what is a programming language. Java is a programming language. So what do you mean by a programming language? So we need to talk to computers because computers are the one that we will tell them what to do. So pro computer only understands the language of zeros and one, which is also called as a binary language. But as a human beings, we are not that comfortable with the numbers because we are not good with the numbers. So if I ask you, tell me the names of your 10 friends, you'll be able to tell me. But if I ask you, tell me the phone numbers, it'll be a little hard for you to tell me the numbers because as people, we are not that comfortable with the, with the numbers. So they, then they came with the concept of these languages, programming languages, because we wanted to be, we wanted to program. So it should be easier for us instead of writing programs in zeros and one. So then the con concept of programming language came. So this programming language, they are very similar to an English like kind of syntax means it's very similar to English language. And I'll tell you how we can compare that in a next tutorial. So it's very, so they came up with the concept of these programming languages. They're also called as the high level language. So then it's not going to help computers because it's going to be a win situation for us because now we are doing something that we are familiar with and, but the computers are still understand only zeros and ones. So they, there is a, there is, you can call it as a software. You can call it, some people call it as assemblers, can call it as compilers. So you, you write as a programmer, you write the program using these high level languages. Like it can be different languages are available, C, C++, uh, Java, etc. You write your program using these languages and all of these languages are having a very English life kind of syntax. So it's easy to learn these languages. And then these languages go through something called as compiler. And at the end, it com converts this code into the code that computer understand that's basically you can call it as zeros and one so this is how they came up so it's like a win-win situation for as a programmer and as well as a computer we will be we are able to write in a language that makes more sense to us and computer will get the language that he understands so now there are different kinds of programming languages are there but generally you can con you can classify these programming language into two types one is called as the procedural languages like C and the other one is called as the object oriented language that is called as Java. Now, what is the difference between these two? Just as the name indicates, the procedure language works or focuses on the procedures, means what a thing does. For example, if you're writing, an, or writing a program about a uh, television, so the pro if you're writing in the perspective of a procedure language, we will be writing things like a TV can do, means you can watch on TV, you can change channels, those kind of things that a TV can do. Similarly, if you're writing a program about, let's say, dogs, so what a dog can do, dog can bark, eat, etc. So the C procedure languages main function, main focus is on the functions or they are also called as the procedures means their main focus is on what they can do. Just like if we are writing a program about humans or employees, their main focus will be on what employee can do rather than what employee in whole is. But if you're writing in the perspective of an object oriented language, we consider everything as an object. So everything as a real time entity. So we program in like objects like car, dog, TV, cat, so we consider them as the whole object and we that's what the object oriented way of writing the program. The object oriented way helps us to write the complex programs in a very simple manner and they're very easy to write a program in object oriented compared to write in a procedural way. So for example, if you're considering about a like a dog, so the in the object oriented, we will talk about the name of the dog, the age of the dog, what a do dog can do. These are the these are the different things the dog can do. So this is the object way of thinking. But if in the, we're talking about the procedural way, the procedural way will only focus on this part of the code. So this is the difference between the procedural language and object oriented language. In this lecture and in this course, we will not cover any procedural language. We are, we are going to focus on how things are done in object oriented language and we will learn Java. So in our next tutorial, I will explain you why we say that Java has a very English like kind of syntax. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, thank you so much.